Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a reading for you guys for July 29th through August 4th. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Pisces. If you find this reading at another time and it resonates, please take it as it resonates, okay? This is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Cross Watchers for Pisces. Hmm, I've got the star reversed, okay? This is Aquarius energy. This could be feeling sort of let down or hopeless or disconnected or just feeling like you can't get to where you want to go i've got four of pentacles i feel like you guys are stuck on something here you're kind of fixated on something maybe you think that's the way it's gonna be that's how you're gonna get what you want so i feel like you might need to let go of that grip a little bit we have seven of pentacles reversed it's kind of like i feel you you've exhausted your energy in a situation you've put too much. Ooh, we've got the wheel of fortune here though. Things are going to change for you guys if you can let go of your grasp a little bit of the way you think it should be and allow things to just kind of be the way they are. Seven of Pentacles, I just feel like you guys have really invested a lot of energy and time and you didn't see the outcome you wanted and I feel like this is a sign that it's time to shift a little bit with this wheel of fortune. It's time to allow things to shift. We have seven of swords reverse. It's time to let go of the self-deception that this has to be the way. So I feel like you guys are having a lot of like personal struggles and the three of swords is here in the reverse. I'm taking a lot of reverse cards because I usually don't, but I do feel you guys, guys have had a lot of disappointment, a lot of heartache. The five of cups is here, but I feel you need to let yourself grieve. You need to let this emotion drain out of you as Pisces. I feel like maybe you need to create some art, like channel it into some creative stuff here. Mm. You know, I'm not really getting like an energy of a specific sign or person that you were dealing with. I The only signs I see here are Aquarius and Sagittarius, but... Um, I'm not getting a lot of like love dynamic stuff, but I do feel you guys have been suffering in some way. Seven of Cups reversed and the world. It's time to finalize this chapter. Whatever it is that you've been sitting on, whatever it is that you feel like, I'm telling you guys, it's time to do an about face here. This is Capricorn energy, but this is like we're finalizing the plans here. We're letting go of this indecision of this um, mental blockages of this um, energy of just like not being able to move forward it's time to release that and to just I feel if you guys have been working on a project or some sort or even a relationship and it just hasn't been working out you're not going to get what you want by sitting on the sidelines and wishing and dreaming for it to be different you're going to have to make some different moves here okay so um I'm going to pull from Carrie from Celestial Forecasts, the dating scene oracle, and get some more energies, maybe some love energies that come through here. Okay, Pisces? Drool, wet kisser, secret lovers. You guys need someone that brings you passion, that makes you feel like you could be alive again you might even have that spontaneous unplanned excursion spur of the moment dates it's time to go after what you want guys there could be someone here that secretly wants to be with you that wants to have adventures with you but i almost feel this four of cups energy with you guys where you're so fixated on the thing that didn't work out that you're missing out on these new exciting opportunities we've got military life um separation anxiety okay we've got daredevil the sky's the limit constantly craving new adventures i do feel like you guys need a new adventure with the spontaneous and adventures here um you might have been just kind of living this very rigid boring life here with this military life it's time to go out of your comfort zone guys okay these could also be qualities of a person that may have party animal heavy drinker act stupid at parties I feel in the past you guys may have thought the only way to experience joy and happiness is to release through drinking, through um, partying, but I don't think that this is what this is about. This is about really experiencing joy through connection, through alignment with who you really are, okay? And I don't feel like you guys have been doing that, all right? Let's get some from Charm Cards from Mystic Moon. What are some other energies here, Pisces?
turn over. That's what I'm saying, a new leaf. Unpredictability, look at this. We had unplanned adventure. It's time, you know, I do feel something is gonna be happening in your life that's going to really shift things with the wheel of fortune, with the unpredictability. And I think that's what you guys need. I think you definitely need a change of scenery, of experience here, okay? songs guitar someone could be feeling connected to you through music spirit animal you could be experiencing like seeing spirit animals pay attention to these things these are things that the universe is communicating with you butterflies um yeah i mean i feel like you guys are getting a lot of signs from the universe trust these signs because they are leading you to your joy to your happiness regeneration windmill yeah, I mean, this is change. This is different experiences. Competition and unlock, okay? I feel like you guys need that zest, that push um, back into your life here, okay? Hey, what does your person want to say to you, Pisces? This is from my From Him to Her deck. What does your person want to communicate to you, Pisces? I look at your picture more than more than I would even like to admit. I'm telling you, we have secret love or someone is secretly loving you from afar. Ooh, I think of you when I'm having sex with her. Okay, so someone really desires you. I feel like in a way you guys are mirroring each other where you've both lost your zest because you're both not going after what it is that you want. Like they want you. There's things in your life you're not doing. I projected my insecurities on you when I was unaware. And so I feel like somebody really messed up a dynamic with you but now they can't stop thinking about you look at this this is what's on the bottom i will never forget you i mean you left a lasting impression on this person so i definitely feel like when you start to align with what feels right for you also this person may come forward here okay let's get a couple more messages from carrie from celestial forecast silhouette Trophy, don't be anyone's possession or prize. You're more valuable than that, okay? I feel like some of you guys are just doing things to appease others, but really, you're not really in a soul bond, forever connect connected regardless of time or circumstance. Solitude, there's a difference between being alone, feeling alone, and choosing to spend time alone. Choose the one that allows you to gather your thoughts to heal and allow to love yourself first. I think somebody here needs to go their own way. Um, if you've been in a relationship that's unfulfilling, I feel like this is saying it's time to really honor yourself and to, um, you know, I, I feel you and this person that you're dealing with are on these mirroring journeys. Like I've been saying that and like when you, you both need to honor yourself because there's a soul bond here and whatever you guys are experiencing you're mirroring with each other. I want to pull from this um, deck from All Things Intuitive. This is the Divine Feminine and Masculine messages. So um, let's see, because I feel like this is kind of like both of you guys here. So many decks right here. Sorry, guys. Move these out of the way. Okay. So what last things does your person want to say to you? I want to make amends. Oh my God, you guys, look at that. Wow. I still have feelings for you. Oh my God. I can be myself with you. That is what I am saying. Oh my God, you guys. This is like, you both are coming to this awakening where you realize the other things you've been doing in your life aren't working. And back to you, it always comes around. Back to you. That's the song that just came through from John Mayer. This person, the more experiences they have, the more songs they hear, the more places they go, it just comes back to you because you are them and they are you and you guys mirror each other. And I feel like you also need to have these other experiences to realize that you can't really be yourself with anyone else because this person is kind of like you, okay? Wow, Pisces, this is just crazy to me. Um, I hope this reading resonated with you guys. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Like and comment. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.